In the previous lecture, we have learned about the concept of composition, timeline, and keyframes. In this video, we will learn about the concept of ease in and ease out and much more. And with the help of that concept, we will create one simple animation. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effect. As always, we will create a new composition. I'll click on this new composition and we will name this composition as main animation width i'll choose 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 second duration i'll choose around let's say i think five second only and background color i'll choose white color and simply hit ok so my composition is ready i'll go to the choose grid and guide option and i'll simply hit on title section to get this proper grid now we will go to our shape layer and i'm gonna choose my ellipse tool and with the help of that i'm gonna create one ellipse like that and this as you can see my anchor point is at the center of this composition but i want this thing to be center at of this circle so for that what i'll do i'll press ctrl alt home which is a shortcut key to align that anchor point to the center press v to select our selection tool and i'll move this thing over here and if you have any stroke over here so if and if you want to delete simply click on this stroke and delete and hit ok and you are free to choose any color you want for this fill right now i'll choose this what we call blue color and then again i'll press ctrl alt hope to align that anchor point to the center now as you can see whenever we are going to create anything on this canvas it will automatically get created in this timeline also so now i'll close this thing i'll select this shape layer and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll drag this thing over here by holding shift again i'll hit ctrl d for duplicate and with the help of shift i'll drag this thing over here again i'll hit ctrl d i'll drag it down again i'll hit ctrl d and i'll drag it down like that we can adjust the position like that select all of them and drag them like that now we will press p for position property and we will create one keyframe over here you can move this thing from this canvas or you can move this thing from here also so i'll go to around 1.20 frames and i'll move this thing over here like that so if i hit play we will get this kind of animation now we will see the concept of is in is out i'll move this thing over here for better explanation i'll select this one and i'll select these keyframes i'll simply right click on it and i'll choose is in is out but we are not going to choose this we will choose this for this one i am not gonna change anything so we can compare all these layers so I'll select this fourth one which is our second one and I'll select those keyframes right click make sure that you are right clicking on this keyframe not on the blank space so I'll go over here right click keyframe assistance and easy ease with the shortcut key is F9 as you can see the icon of the keyframe is changed so if I hit play we can see the difference of these two animations and now suppose I want to see this and this layer only this layer i don't want to see in my composition so for that what i'll do i'll select this one and i'll select this one and i'll choose this option so now i can see only this option this layers only so if we hit come compare these things as you can see the animation duration is same but the way they are animating is quite changed and that changes if you see this one the velocity i mean the speed of this animation is constant but in this one what happening is initially the speed is slow and in middle the speed is as always medium and as the animation ends the speed is again slow so which is initially it's quite smooth in middle it's quite fast and at the end in it again smooth so this is f9 which means easy ease now we will select this third one and i'll click this option this option so i can compare these two right click go to the keyframe assistance and i'll choose 
choose easy is in shortcut key is shift f9 so i'll select that and as you can see the icon of this keyframes is quite different now if i hit play as you can see we will get this kind of animation now if we compare these two animations in this third one the initial speed is fast and as the animation ends it becomes slow the duration is same but the way of animation is different now i'll select this one i'll hide this one i'll select these keyframes right click keyframe assistance and i'll choose easy is out Control shift f9 is the shortcut key and i'll hit ok as you can see the icon is changed and it's just the reverse of this one so if i hit play in this one initial speed is slow and as the animation ends it becomes fast so that's it now for the last one what i'll do i'll un un select all of them and i'll select these keyframes and i'll go to the right keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes so it will reverse the keyframes so this is the difference between all of them so now we will animate this thing in a little better way so for that what i will do i will select all of them and i will press ctrl shift c for pre comp and i will hit ok like that now i will select this one and i will go to the effect and presets panel and i will apply one effect called eco and i will double click on it as you can see we will get some weird animation over here now in eco operator i will choose maximum so to get rid of this effect and number of echoes i will choose 20 like that and over here decay from name itself decay means decay and i will choose 0.5 so as you can see we will get this effect over here now i will double click on it and i'll hit u i'll go over here now as you can see we have some extra portion in this composition to get rid of that what i'll do i'll simply hit k to get over here i'll hit n so my animation is only from here if i hit spacebar as you can see after this it again start go from the start now in this work area i'll right click and i'll go to the trim comp to work area so as you can see the, it reduced the composition size and if i go to my animation animation as you can see we have this much size only now i'll hit ctrl d sorry not in this eco but on this layer i'll hit ctrl d and i'll move this thing over here right click go to the time and make it time reverse layer so if we hit play from here we will get something like this and we will hit n over here now if i hit play i'll get something like this if you want then you can increase the number of echoes and you can de increase the size of this dk like points 7 over here also we need to change that i'll choose 59 over here and like this the dk value i'll choose 0 0.70 i mean 0 0.7 like that so as you can see we have this kind of looping animation with the help of ease in ease out concepts so that's it for the today's video